find the equivalent point load for the distributed load as shown. Now here, my load intensity diagram is a triangle. This is where your arrows are. The height of my triangle is given over here It's 10 pounds per foot. The width of my triangle is 6 feet. The magnitude of the equivalent point load is equal to the area under the load intensity diagram. So the magnitude of F, this is F, is equal to the area under the load intensity diagram. So the area of a triangle is one half base times height, which in this case is one half six feet, ten feet per pounds per foot, which is thirty pounds. That's the magnitude of the my equivalent point load. But as before, you can't have a magnitude without knowing what direction it acts in and where it acts. Well, the direction is given by your arrows up here. They all point down, so F is going to point down as well. Where does it act? It acts at the centroid of the area under the load intensity diagram. So the centroid of a triangle is a third of the way from the big end. So on my triangle, which is six feet long, the centroid of the triangle is a third of the way over. So six over three is two, two feet from the end of the beam. So what I can say at this point is that my beam has an equivalent, the beam has a distributed load. The equivalent point load to the distributed load is 30 pounds at 2 feet from the end of the beam, or 4 feet from the wall.